The very first guest to enter Shanghai Disneyland wasn't shy about how he felt about it. Thousands arrived at the $5.5 billion park opened on a rainy Thursday. Among the throngs sporting umbrellas and ears, mom Gao Pei Pei and her daughter. We are most looking forward to all the characters she likes, she says, Mickey, Minnie, Frozen, and of course, the castle. We want to see them all. Just after the interview, we saw that little girl up on stage dancing, proud mom with iPhone in hand. It's a happy, fun scene. But the joy of this opening was dampened a bit by tragedy connected to Disney in Orlando. A two-year-old boy killed by an alligator Tuesday. CEO Bob Iger in Shanghai for the opening issued a statement on the two-year-old's death, saying in part, quote, as a parent and grandparent, my heart goes out to the Graves family during this time of devastating loss. Iger released his statement shortly before he presided over the opening ceremony of Shanghai Disneyland. Joined by Chinese officials and VIPs, it was the culmination of decades of work that ended with the gates finally opening. Despite dealing with tragedy back in Florida, this is Disney's largest foreign investment ever, and the grand opening went ahead as planned. Featuring local singers and dancers, the performance was distinctly Chinese, part of Disney's strategy for a park that is incredibly important for Disney's future in the world's second largest economy. Every sign has Chinese characters, famous Disney songs are sung in Mandarin, plus brand new technologies like the Tron roller coaster promise tourists the ride of a lifetime. It's all to appeal to people just like Wang Jing and her daughter, Wang Yitong. They bought their tickets back in March. We know we're already coming back, she says. My kid loves it and so do I. Such a happy place. There's joy in Shanghai and grief in Orlando and one company at the center of it all. Matt Rivers, CNN, Shanghai, China.